Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 14, Nasdaq's up 37, S&P's a flat. And we were just talking about the aspect of, uh, okay, what the Fed could say as to why they uh, still think may have to go down. Well, the White House just came out. This is so wild, it's crazy, folks. But, hey, bottom line, it is what it is. They came out. Uh, the Trump administration wants to dictate how and where global auto companies are going to make cars and parts to secure a duty-free treatment. So, under the new NAFTA, the issues being discussed between uh, Trump uh, administration officials, congressional staff, and domestic and foreign automakers. Can you imagine that you're, you're an automaker right now, and, and bottom line, the White House is calling you and saying, hey, you, man, you're going to make parts here, or guess what? If you make them there, you are going to have some heavy tariffs, okay? You talk about uh, the aspect of uh, uh, political manipulation. Oh, man, it, that, that is going to be in spades. I, I suspect, hey, we'll find out whether this thing shock, shakes but uh, so much for uh, free market capitalism. No doubt about that. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour, folks. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show right here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter. The way you get this newsletter, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters. You hit newsletters, you're going to see it on the top right-hand corner, the opening call. You can hit subscribe at the opening call. And what you're going to get there, you can get the open call for one month for $128. Where is she? There she is. You can get one month for $128. You can get six months for $595, which is a savings of $173, or 22%. You can get it for a full year for $995, which is a savings of $541, or 35%. Now, folks, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you want to test drive it? You can test drive it six months, a year. It doesn't matter. Bottom line, you come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You like it, you keep it, you're going to get a great newsletter and a great discount at the exact same time. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing there? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, thank you. So, we're Very at, we're, interesting. Well, we get the S&P at highs. We don't have the, you don't have your Dow at highs. Well, we've got the, the Q's, the Index 100 uh, trading vehicle at a new all-time high, yep. and we've got the SMHs, the semiconductors at a new high, and we've got the S&P. So the Dow's lagging. Perhaps it's going to play catch-up, but, you know, I'm always looking for those Ds, that fourth highest peak. Let me just show this quickly. All right. Yeah. So what we're always looking for is to try to identify the lowest, most identifiable low bar. And from that, we count each successively higher peak. I alphabetize them. If there are four higher peaks, it goes peak A, B, C, D. D is the fourth highest peak. That's where other things can happen. It can go higher to E, F, and G. But D is really the one that you kind of lift your foot off the accelerator and you hover over the break and just see what happens next. I'm always looking for either a straight line move up or down, <clears throat> an arch, arch formation or a cup formation or a combination. So here we are. This is the lowercase h. I call it the dreaded h pattern because if you take out the left side low, it can go much higher. And then the inverted y is a green. If you go above the left side high, you can go higher. So with that said, let's see what we've got. We've got yet another potential peak D. If there's no new high today above 26,167, that was the high of yesterday. We missed it by so far less than two points. Let's see how this comes up. We've got gapped up. We've got a little doji candle right here. And you know that each peak, let me just show this quickly. We've had a variety of these peak Ds at tops. And that was back in April. There was a peak D in the Dow and it plunged uh, from the 26,695 level to 24,000. Runs up to another peak D, a little tiny doji candle right on the 16th of July, 27,398. Plummets down to 25,339. Runs up again to the September high, again a peak D at 27,306 on the 12th of September. Pulls back to 25,743. So each one you can see is getting narrower each. We didn't take out the, the all-time high yet, and we didn't take out the low that was made back in August. Uh, in October, we went to 25,743, and now we've got a lower high at 26,167. So this is really important, especially since tomorrow we've got the Fed, uh, we've got impeachment talks going on. So this is a period where there could be, uh, probably there could be a, a, a pullback that's, it could be quite sharp and sudden. And if for whatever reason, I'm just saying right now, if there's a if there is a print 
above 27,400. That is spectacular action for the Dow because that really takes it to that leg D in the uh, monthly chart. It breaks out the resistance from the weekly chart. So this is a very important period. And we've seen such a mixed uh, market. You know, some of the stocks have been hammered. Like in the Dow, you've had McDonald's sharp below us. Suddenly you've got Microsoft at all-time highs. So it's been a variety. Uh, and that's what's kind of kept us in a narrow trading range. So basically, we're looking at this. Got to I get a little cautious right now at this uh, potential PD. We'll see if they're going to be the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence is good. The stochastic's not quite as good, although it's at 81 percent. And you can see, I call this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It means this little down channel right here. Every time the price has gone into that channel, it's been repelled. So this is another reason why the weekly chart is so important, that if we do have a breakout by Friday to the upside, that's going to be very important. So for subscribers, we've had some long positions of what I had said to subscribers about two weeks ago. I said, you know what, in this environment, let's go for really good looking low price stocks because they can give nice percentage gains. And it's the same risk because we're using the same Chapman Wave techniques. So we've had some really nice trades. Uh, one in particular was uh, BDSI. And this is a company called Biodelivery Sciences. We got in at $5.17 around about here. And you can see, look at that great move. It's, it hit 610, 610 nice cents. Yeah, huge. That's yeah. a big move. And look at that, that monthly chart. There's that cup formation I like to talk about. There's a peak D right in the, uh, the week of the 5th of April at 537. Dropped to the August low of 359. And here it is, and it's holding very nicely. I said to subscribers, take something off today, 17% gain in a very short period. Nothing wrong with that. So these lower price stocks, the patterns are the same. You know, when you're looking at technical analysis, it doesn't matter. You've seen that over and over again in your gold stocks where some are very low priced and some are high priced, yet the pattern's always the same. So we wanted to trade the pattern. So far, it's worked out well. And this is a very interesting one because in the big cup formation, 640 is, is the resistance that I'm looking at here. Okay. And uh, it was once upon a time an $18.48 stock in September of 2014. So I'm not sure if they've turned the corner, but it's in the buy delivery. It's in the is bioerodible. It's got. It's in a. The technology is very good for this particular vehicle because it. They have a whole bunch of. Uh, I guess they must have bought patents or they have the rights to about 600 different uh, d different programs that they can use for the different. Um, in the in the biotech area, so they're coming up with different drugs that, that are mixes of of many of a variety of proven. Uh, drugs before. So let's see what happens there. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm being a little cautious here, but uh, as I say, we, we're actually fully invested in the, in the, in the, in a certain category, but we try to keep some cash ready. I think there's going to be some chance at some point very soon where there's a sudden pullback and then we can start adding. And I mean, listen, you know, you're looking at United Technologies, a lot of stocks that are at resistance right now. So I think there could be a bit of a pullback coming. And folks, the way to get uh, Basil's newsletter, just go to TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side, the opening call. Basil, you have a great night, safe night, and of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.